I mean, the only difference, like, as long as I can tell what the multiplicity of each zero is, if I ask for multiplicity, then you need to provide that. Okay. Um, so in this example here, we guys, can we see that they have a common factor here? Right. So let's factor out a two and an x. So I factor that out, and I'm left with x squared minus four uh, x plus three. Okay. Um, well, again, I don't want to use the zero product property until I factor this down. So again, I'm thinking to myself, what two numbers multiply to give me three, add to give me negative four? Oh, that's a quadratic. So zero equals two x times x minus three times x minus uh, one. Right? And then when you use the zero product property, just remember, guys, when you set these equal to zero, like two just divides out. Right? Two does not affect the zero. Two could be one half. It could be, you know. 2 over pi, like it doesn't matter what that factor is. It's a, just a factor of the 0. It gets divided out. So don't include 2 as a 0. All right? You can see the zeros are going to be 0, 3, and 1, because those are the values that make this equation 0, which makes the equation true. So we can say the zeros here, skipping the zero product property, is going to be 0, 3, and 1. And these all have a multiplicity equal to 1. Cool? Anybody get that one? Anybody try that?